guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. So, last time we got in the Institute and we found out Sean is the director of the Institute. And now, we need to meet the directors of the four particular... Can I slap you? Thanks again. Of course. It's okay. my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. We're all looking forward Doctor, to working with you. Doctor, we're here. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Ellie. Ellie Thorne. Can you face me, please? Just saying. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. That one, you're a badass. I just wanted to find my son and, and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provide power to the laboratory and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and we've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? In a way. We're just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Actually, I eh, I do want to know just for shits and giggles. Because I'm pretty sure it's like into the, not into the, I don't know, ton. I don't even know. Like billions of You're kilowatts or megawatts. When are you going to tell me? No, I can't talk about that. Hmm. Phase three? Interesting. Let's go into advanced systems for now. Man, there's so much to see here. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. <coughs> yes? Excuse me. Huh? Uh, they won't even talk. Come on. Hi, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Oh, in that's in amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. So they do really revere me here. I'll take wow. this, thank you. That was productive. So you just shot at the wall. Shoot the wall. And that I didn't need. I do not need that. Give me not stats inventory. Okay. What is it? Insta pistol. Don't need that. Let's put it back One into I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Well yeah, wait, they can't replace it completely. Hmm. They can build a new one, or uh, like there's always that. Like build a new one and have them work in tandem. And build like fusion reactors because they are a nearly limitless source of energy. And make them like Wait, cold fusion, this... Before time and material... Oh, okay. 
Phase 3. Miniaturization. Uh huh. Plasma, that sounds really nice. Turn everyone into a pile of goo. Wait, I have my stuff. Okay. So this is. Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Ah, don't worry. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, Candy is something of an understatement. Hey, it's just in the case model the saying. significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I am his mother. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Interesting, and Dr. the others? Tell me about the people in your... And I'm not sure. Dr. Watson. Yeah, Dr. Watson, Ormond. Oh, Dr. Lee? Only them? Okay. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry. I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Uh, it's good to talk once Dr. in a while, you know? I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the child sim, to focus on phase three. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. So I'm gonna work with them, huh? Okay. I do not mind. And can I take that pillow? No, I cannot. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna take anything else. Uh, including holodisks. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Renee has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's well it's it's almost too good. Hmm. The responses map almost identically to expectations. Some of the most lifelike I've seen. Please don't stop the tape. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you've come to think of the Institute as your home. It'll take some time, but I could learn to like it here. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear you say so. And promise I'll work hard to make sure that you do. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Okay, so nothing else to say? Fine. Nothing to report, ma'am. Yeah, good job. Remarkable. All this must be a little Dragging overwhelming for you. Targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. You did Enough make many, that is true. They're pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me a lot? My methods get results. And they will this time as well. We'll see. The directorate should take the synth escape more seriously. If the robotics division isn't more careful, we wouldn't have synths trying to escape. Well, hey treat doctor. them so, like humans, maybe? Nail, acting Director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. 
Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, probably. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions. Hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth detention unit. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on Cerberus. Hmm. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want to be free. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. <laughs> Here we go again. That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Corsa, a third generation synth designed to operate on the surface. Corsas hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, the Corsas are relentless. Well, I gather you know all this, since you've encountered them already. Because and took him down. I'd very much like to know how you defeated them. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Corsa could be more than a match for any synth in the map. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production line. <laughs> now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile in his absence, I keep things running smoothly. I hear you. Oh, hello. Did he sell at me? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Justin. Yes. What do you need? Still need to talk to you. you mentioned that courses undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen Three synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity fearlessness and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become courses. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their formative years. Okay, that Dr. Ayer. What do you want? And please, make it quick. I'd like hmm. to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it anew. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time in the service. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. That, sucks. that actually sucks. Because you basically... He's basically dead, the, the synth. Oh, interesting. Directorate to take the synth estates more seriously. Excuse me. I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. If we can't get along, it's going to be hard to accomplish anything. Yeah. Even worse, we got a lot of smart guys with fragile egos. Anyway, that's the worst. Today. It was good to meet you. Oh, hello. More ammo for me. I'm surprised they have normal ammo, but actually I shouldn't be. I know I don't need sensors. If the robotics division was even more careful, we wouldn't have Well, don't treat them like robots. You don't want the punch to the face, do you? I guess you're from one of those clubs. Oh, you don't say I don't have a vault suit on, no. Barsans. Wait, what was his name? Martin? No, not Martin. Ah, I forget his name. The super mutant. Marcus, there we... Marcus? I think it was Marcus. 
Maybe? God, it's been a while. Like a long while since I've played and met him. High powered microscope. Wait, what is this? FEV lab, there we go. Maybe we can find the cure. The cure for his condition. Because that's what he was trying. And if there's one thing I wouldn't be working on is FEV. Oh, great. Testa coil. Because maybe they created super mutants. And mutant hounds. And I broke a pin. On a novice lock. Nice. So that was all manual? Okay. Wait, don't... Didn't I... Oh. So this is all I picked up? Maybe it's, yeah, it's mo def most definitely all the food I have, so. Let's get rid of it. Let's sort, sort by, wait. Oh, the gourd and the melon. And nuka. And the potted meat, oh god, that just sucks. Oh, the tail. Just eat it. And then one. Oh, don't even need the gumdrops. One right away. And more taros. Okay. Two right away. Three right. No, doesn't matter. Dang it. Okay, this doesn't work. Long barrel. I modified it to have a long barrel, so it would be a bit so it would have a lot a longer range yeah that's why and to make it like a actual machine gun okay I need to focus on this Okay, I'm getting back into it, uh, bit by bit. Okay. Back. Was that the last one? Holy, that was... I should have went with it. Not a stealth unit. But a but the game a swimmer. Go for the torso. One last shot. There it goes. Get down on the ground. So much useful stuff on the assaultrons. Fuse. Always need more fuels. Like, always. Puncturing pipe. That's a mod. Well, it even said so. It's a mod for the pipe rifle. 
A lot of paint here. Oh, turpentine. Hooked pipe wench mod. Okay, clock, you can shut up and... Nothing, nothing, nothing. Cutting fluid. Yeah. Hello, red barrels. Okay, don't really want to stand near those. Bunsen burner. Can be. Oh, poor cat. That's just sad. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. So. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was uh, Monday last week. And I went. I was going to school. And I usually take a shortcut near uh, one of the apartment buildings, which is like through the, not through, like next to them. And oh, that's just sad. And uh, when I turn the corner at the apartment building, you know what's there? A dead cat that is rotting and the smell is just the worst possible. And I'm like, I had my uh, headset on, listening to music because I I do that because so that I can escape from the levels of stupidity that are in my class, which uh, you won't believe. Okay, I'm gonna do that so I can have master timer, and next up will be the master locks. Yep, it's gone. And uh, I see it, I stop dead in my tracks, and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Yes. Oh, hell, oh, another house cat. How did it have, how does it have three bottle caps on it? Sad, but still, it doesn't make any sense. Sweet. Cat meat, oh, God. Why? Why? Did the other one? Yep. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. It worked. This is locked with a novice or a technical document. Uh, cigarette carton. Oh, the synth. Yeah, I didn't see him. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Flask, okay, that's just glass. I don't need glass that much. Wake. Not safe. Some, nope. Give, don't think. Hook. Okay, you you gotta be killing me. Yeah, he, th this is yeah. You gotta be killing me. English, everyone. It actually kind of makes sense in this. Maybe. No. Not nah, rob. Yeah, it couldn't. It needs to be completely different. Nail has one. Got this. There we go. Open the door. Oh. Open sesame. Why, you idiots? Experimental serum. Virgil! There we go. And this is Virgil's, I bet. Yeah, he broke out. I found the serum this time. Okay, back to bar science. And I'll talk to all the to the main guy. Okay, hello. Uh, but has been sealed. Okay. 
I do not care. Since what? Remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves. Hey, Doc. You're still welcome, and it are so good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holden, head of the Biosciences. Team. After all, I can't How wait can we to hope see to the work we're doing. Mankind this is truly can amazing. Hold on to our own humanity. I look okay. forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Okay, that is really awesome. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. So... Is there anything I can do to help out? I think Dr. Carlin was looking for help with one of his experiments. You should talk to him. <laughs> also... Dr. Holdren. Is there something I can do for you? Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. That's actually good, but maybe it matches? Anything no, it doesn't. I don't think. You mentioned medical care? I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volker. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volker works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Maybe Brotherhood of Steel? Maybe. Although maybe he's right. Oh. At the same time. Okay, so where are the other guys? And here are the gorillas. Okay, they actually do look quite realistic. Good to see you. That is interesting. But also, there is some stuff I'm not done with yet. Like the exploration of this side of the place. Hello. Got it. Of course. Of course I do that. Let's eat more food. <laughs> like sugar bombs. I still need to keep this at base like leave it because irradiated blood it's not really useful since I do have the blood packs and a lot of stem packs like a lot so maybe I should stop picking them up since I think I have 200 stem packs now oh, yeah 266 stem packs hmm. no biggie no biggie only 250 over oh, only over 250 yeah okay anyway I'm gonna end it here so we just met everyone and um, we also got the serum for Virgil which is great so I will end it here and then go and meet with uh, the father or Sean whatever so if you enjoyed the see please as always like comment share and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one goodbye